I'm Ryan from Educate.me, and today I'm going to show you how you can use your bookmarks bar in Chrome to make your day go a lot faster because you spend most of the day in Chrome. First thing we need to check before we get started is that we are signed into Chrome, not signed into Google for your email and all that, but signed into Chrome. If you look in the upper right corner, there is training here, and that means I'm signed on and sync is on. Why do we want to make sure sync is on? Because if we put all of our time and effort into creating these bookmarks, we want to make sure they're backed up to Google. And if I go to another machine and sign in, I have all of my bookmarks there. Today, we're going to concentrate only on the bookmarks bar, which right now, by default, it's not showing up. We need to turn it on if it is not already there. And you'll know if it's already there. Let's turn it on. Click on the three dot menu, bookmarks, show bookmarks bar. Now, if you have this extra space underneath your address, then it's already turned on. So what can we do with this bookmarks bar? Starting out, we can put links to different services that we use all the time. We use Gmail a lot, and it'd be nice to be able to quickly get to it. Now, you might have this apps right here, which would get you to it quicker, quickly, but sometimes you might not have that depending on what device you're in and what's turned on. We're going to show you how to add a a link to your mail. So I'm sitting here on Gmail. To add a link to our bookmarks bar, I click on the little lock and that lets me drag it. And I'll drag it and see that line that shows up? That's where it's going to go. So I'm just going to drop it there. Now that name is pretty, pretty boring. So if I right click and I'm just hitting the right click on that bookmark, one of the options is edit. And I can change this to G now, no matter where I am, I can click on that Gmail and it goes right to my inbox. We can do that with things like Google Classroom. And it gave a pretty short name. We're just gonna leave it as classrooms there. Our Google Drive. Now that one has a bunch of stuff, so I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to remove, I'm just going to say my drive. So now I can easily jump to any of these by clicking on them. Or I can open them up in different tabs. There's my classes. Now you can do things like our student uh, management software. I can make links to the attendance page for each one of my classes and put them in the bookmarks bar. So I could just, my class comes in, I need to take attendance. It's one click and it'll open up my attendance page and I can start entering. I don't have to go log, go to my information system, navigate to the attendance, I can jump right to it. But that's going to be dependent on what you use for your learning management system. Insider classes, which is probably our biggest place for a bunch of addresses. I can go into both my classes here so here's my main isolinear chips and salsa. I can drag that down there. And my Starship maintenance, I can drag that down there. But you notice I'm starting to run out of room. And that's going to become a pain because another good link to go to is your recent. I'm gonna put that in there. Rename. Recent is pretty awesome because it shows all the files you've been working on latest and it puts in a nice chronological order for you. So that's a pretty handy one to do. But you notice I'm getting, I'm going to run out of space here pretty quickly. Well, we can create folders in here. Anywhere up here, even out on one of the other links, if I right click, besides the edit down here, there is folder. So let's make a classroom folder going to put it in the bookmarks bar, which is the default. Now I have a classroom folder. I can click and drag to put that where I want it. See the little line shows up. We're going to put that over here. And then I can click and drag these into there. My ISO linear chips and salsa. Light up. And even in a folder, 
you can click and drag and rearrange your icons. So now look, that freed up a lot of space. Let's create one for drive. So if I do add a new folder, call it drive, I can put my drive in there. I can put recent in there. So now I can go for recent, they all are. I can go to my classroom right there. Now in your classroom, that's all great, your stream, but a lot of the times you probably wanna to go to your classwork page. So instead of being on the stream page and dragging that down there, I can be on the classwork page and drag that down in. See, now I have classwork for isolinear chips and salsa. So I can jump right to my classwork page instead of going to the classroom or heaven forbid, going to the main classroom site, isolinear chips and then classworks. That was a lot of stuff. Now I can just go right to classwork and go right there. And I can do that with my other one too. Classwork and then drag that down inside there. Inside a folder, you can create another folder. So let's say I wanna keep this stuff, the isolinear, let's say I wanna keep all that stuff in one folder. So somewhere in there, I click add folder. Now look where the location is. It's in that classroom folder. See, it's lit up. So I can install this one. Now I have an isolinear chips and salsa folder and I can click and drag just like how we did it with the bar. And inside there, let's say you do find the link to your attendance page, you can throw that in there and it keeps everything nice and handy and one click away because it just takes one click to open this up. Actually two clicks, one click to open it and another click to activate the bookmark you want to go to. If there is something that you want to make a link to that you only know the address and once you, you enter that address, it jumps to another site. My example is going to be docs.new. Docs.new is a Google shortcut to create a new Google document. But if I want to bookmark that, if I go to docs.new, it's going to go to a new document. And I don't want to bookmark that document. I want to have a link so I can create a new document, not an untitled document. What we can do is right click and down here it says add page new doc and under url that's where i enter the docs.new and you don't need to put the uh https in front of it or you can if you want but now i have this new document And if I open up a new tab and hit that, I'm going to create another new untitled document. So you can do that with slides.new is the other one that you probably are going to be using it. Slides.new. And I can drag those into my Google Drive folder. So that's how you can start going a lot faster with Google Chrome or any browser because they all pretty much work the same in regards to putting icons and bookmarks into the bookmarks bar. And you can make your life a lot faster just by doing that. Be sure to check out my video, bookmark all the things because it will go more in depth on everything that you can bookmark if you are a Google school because there is a ton of things that you will never have to go search Google again because you could just put them all in your bookmarks and be good to go. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like it and subscribe. And most of all, stay classy.